I'm just waiting signal. Yes, I think we are alive. Hope we are. Hi everybody, it's Angelica, nutritionist and weight loss coach. So I'm coming on today to talk to you about snacks today. Okay, my topic today is snack or not to snack. That is the question. So um, before I dig, dig in, I just want to say that snacking probably is number one problem with my current client or past clients. Uh, it's always a, a crop up and, 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 and you know, as a, one of the biggest problems that uh, people who are trying to lose weight have. All right. So, and this is COVID or no COVID, right? Snacking was there before, unfortunately, COVID situation didn't help the case. And, and a lot of us snacking went through the roof, all right? But just to let you know, there is a way out of snacking, right? So stick around and, and, and see and, and hear what I have to say. Um, before we start, I just want to say I have made uh, a guide, 33 on the go, healthy snack guide for you here on the, um, uh, who are listening this uh, video. Also, if you're listening recordings, you can download the guide. And this is definitely my best guide so far. These are all my best of snacks, uh, my personal ones. Also, I collected all the snacks that work really, really well for uh, for my clients. So I hope you download and, and, and use it really. So, uh, yes, the link is somewhere down below. Just find the link and uh, and enjoy, enjoy the link. Um, but um, before we start, I just want to say that uh, what I actually think about snacking and what I kind of preach, um, preach, teach really people that come into my world is that I am not a big fan of snacking. Right, so you're probably wondering now what the hell you, you know, giving us a guide, 30, 33 snacks guide, and you're not a big fan of snacking. Well, reason for that is that I also recognize we are all super busy, you know, homeschooling, no homeschooling, working, we are super busy people, and sometimes we do need something uh, to take us healthily from one meal to the next, okay. Um, the problem with snacking is that if we use snacking on a regular basis, on a daily basis, after every meal, we have a snack, we have a dinner, we have a snack, come weekend, you know, we do certain snacks, that is the problem. The consistency with snacking is a problem and I will explain in a minute. All right, so my main reasons that uh, we snack there are three reasons i'm going to talk about there is more but three main one i will mention today um reason number one uh we've been told that eating little but often is good for us okay and we we have been told this by our mother by our grandma even by our doctors right eat little but often and you will be fine Unfortunately, it doesn't work this way. Unfortunately, snacking on a constant basically just whets the appetite and we uh, tend to overeat. So basically, instead of having three meals a day, we're having three snacks and three meals. So basically, we end up having six meals a day because those snacks end up being not small or not little. Okay? And um, in the last 15 years in my practice, what I've realized, people who actually do, uh, do eat little but often, they are already skinny people, right? And those are people who found a way, you know, they cracked the formula, have to stay slim and healthy. But those of you who have problem with weight and who do snag, I have to say, you have not found the formula yet. And I will say yet here, okay, because there is a way. There is always the way. So, so that's the reason number one. We kind of we've been thought about eating constantly, you know, but little. 
and that's actually his habit that's the belief that we have in our head wrong belief unfortunately the reason number number two is that we have our snacks out of um emotions okay some emotions will uh, provoke us evoke uh, provoke or evoke us to have that snack so basically emotional eating right so we feel a certain way somebody upset us at work or partner or a kid upset us and we um eat certain foods okay and this is nothing to do with the hunger okay this is completely emotional thing and i'm sure a lot of you heard expression you know, don't eat your emotions and a lot of us do that right we feel certain thing and we want to cover those uh, emotions by food but I, I can tell you right now it doesn't work that way okay those emotions push down to just regroup get stronger and cause more problems but you know that's for another uh, facebook live uh, another thing i want to attach to to um emotional eating is this habitual eating all right friday evening comes i'm going to you know have that crisps and, and, and chocolate after the dinner or saturday comes let me have that glass of wine or two okay and this is just something to develop habit over past year or last five years or ten years there is this habit and we're doing certain things on this habitual perpetual way and that is the problem and um until we kind of sort out sort out this uh issues it's very very difficult to lose weight okay so that's reason number two the emotional eating and habitual eating and the my reason number three that we hold on my dog just a second sorry guys <laughs> it's lily so what i wanted to uh what i wanted to say my reason where i was reason number three is um we actually crave certain foods uh this more connected to cravings really um because we are lacking some certain vitamins and minerals in our system and the most common culprit of um sugar cravings is not having enough uh chromium not have enough chromium in our bloodstream and what is happening here um chromium basically regulate our sugar uptake and uh regulate our insulin and we if we don't have enough we end up craving foods this one i have to say is um easy to correct it is basically just uh having a little bit more chromium in our food that can be you know supplements it's chromium picolinate and we need 200 micrograms micrograms and probably if you check your multivitamins if you're using you know good multivitamins it should be there already do check it out and see what you have in your um, multi uh, vitamins and mineral box okay so there's that one so those are yes those are the three ones that are main reasons of cravings um i have just quick statistic here for you lovely people um on average we uh tend to eat two to three hundred calories a day worth of snacks all right so every single day two to three hundred calories um so if uh so in the seven days that will equal to 1400 calories okay so that basically is nearly eight day worth of calories because on average we're supposed to be eating around 1500 calories for female roughly depending on the metabolic rate that can be calculated we can you know calculate that easily but around uh, 1,400 calories extra a week. And if we don't burn those extra snacks, uh, you know, in terms of uh, physical activity, in terms of exercise, hoovering, uh, that excess, uh, this excess calories in, in a year, in 365 days, will equate to 20 pound 
worth of accumulated fat on our body. Okay, so basically, if we constantly, on a daily basis, eating 200 calories extra, which is a couple of biscuits, which is a, a big bag of crisps, on a regular, every single day basis or every other day that is still regular, consistent, we will end up accumulating 20 pounds or 10 kilos or stone and a, and a half of body weight. Okay, that's, that's literally biology, that literally maths, how these things work. Obviously, if we don't burn this color, if we're burning it, you know, what we're putting in, if we're burning, we'll be fine. But if we are, you know, having this sedentary life and we don't pay attention to our output, we will put on weight. All right. And that's why snacking does not work. So you're probably wondering, Angelica, what is actually working, right? So... Uh, one of the easiest and most simple way to uh, avoid snacking is eating three proper healthy meals a day. Okay, that is the solution. It's not rocket science. It is uh, nothing too complicated. It is eating proper breakfast, proper lunch, proper dinner. And I said, you know, it's easy and it's uh, just mentioned, but actually, you know, easy stuff and the simple stuff normally sometimes what I see with the people is actually the hardest thing, all right? For some reason, people actually omitted that um, tradition, shall I say, eating proper meals, three meals a day. And I'm sure a lot of you will know the old saying, eat your uh, breakfast as a king, uh, lunch as a prince, and dinner as a pauper. And that, that saying was, you know, used for hundreds of years, thousands of years, but we somehow omitted and we actually forgotten all about it. Okay, and I'm here actually to bring that to people and, and, and really to see, you know, potential and benefit of, of doing that, doing and, and having that proper three meals a day. Now, the hard bit is that we are so super busy and, um, you know, it's not necessarily always easy, but actually it can become easy one, once you know, you know, what to eat, how much to eat, when to eat, and you do that prep, you do, um, you know, once a week you have this proper shopping, you know what you have in your fridge, your uh, freezer and your cupboards. You do that uh, half an hour meal planning a, a, a week so you actually know what are you going to eat, what the family going to eat. And, and, and then, and only then, you can start practicing that three meals a day thing. Okay, it's not actually that easy, but also it's not difficult either, right? If you're ready, if you know, um, you need to, uh, you know, fixing in that area, you know, everything can be done, absolutely. So that's it, three meals a day is, is really a solution as, as long as you know how, because to tell you what, uh, nothing wrong with, uh, uh, with the snacks, okay? Nothing wrong, what I mean, <laughs> nothing wrong with chocolate or crisps or wine or... Uh, I don't know, cakes, unless you are allergic or have some certain food intolerances. And this is also when I can help you, actually, we can check. And I do do blood checks and food intolerance checking if, if needed. But food, um, any food, you know, food is not an enemy. Food is friend, as long as you know when to eat, how much to eat, and choose this nutritious uh, healthy foods, right? In the right, right amounts and also knowing when to eat that food. And once you know that, then you genuinely, you know, you don't need me, you don't need anybody else and you will never ever become a victim of, of a fat diet ever again. Once you know, uh, once you know those basics, right? And once you know those basics, you, um, you you will achieve that food freedom, right? No feeling guilty, 
uh, you, you feeling energized, you get your mojo back, you don't feel tired, right? And you finally can fit those jeans uh, and dress of yours that patiently waiting at the back of the wardrobe. You know what I mean. So, um, guys, that's it from me. Uh, please make sure you download the guide. It's a great guide. Seriously, you will find at least three snacks that you never thought are healthy or good. You know, they will be there for you. Download and I'm going to see you some other time soon. Take care. Bye bye.